Hello, World of Tank Blizzards, it's the Littlefinger. Got a couple replays for you here. Both of these in German TDs. The first, the Tier 7 J Panther. And then we'll jump up to the Tier 9 Yog Tiger, which was a subscriber submission. Um, come join us on Discord, submit your videos there. We'll get them on channel. And uh, make sure you've hit that subscribe button here on YouTube. Help me out. Uh, on our way past 6,000 subscribers, just got community contributor access, going to play some real fun tanks and uh, get you a lot more detailed reviews and fun stuff. So um, we're having a good time here. But, you know, one of the things I wanted to, to highlight here is just this really, really good line of tank destroyers on the German side here. Starting with the Stug 3, going to the JP4, J Panther, JP2, Yog Tiger, and then obviously up to the big old E100. Um, but you'll note, like, if you look at the line above it with uh, the Nashhorn, Stura Meal, RHM, Waffentrager, and Grill, uh, there's a couple really dogs in the bunch. Um, and that's pretty typical for a line in wargaming if you're going to grind your way up you're going to have to battle your way through some really bad tanks but if you look at this line we're playing here i honestly can't say any of these are really bad tanks um so this is a, a nice easy grind if you ask me um all of these are really good tanks you've got decent mobility uh, you've got great accuracy and you actually have a decent amount of armor on these tanks as well. Back to this game here on Port Bay. Uh, you might have noticed there at the beginning, I wanted to go right, but the team went left down here into uh, the port area. And so I've just pulled up back here as far back on the red line as possible, trying to get as many shots in as possible without getting spotted keeping that camo net engaged um, we're going to get unlucky with a few shots here on the AT-8 but he has just pulled up way too far now this uh, J Panther here at tier 7 does 2600 damage per minute without any sort of equipment um, so that in of itself is really good you've got 215 in pen doing about 310 average damage with this um, 10.5 millimeter or centimeter gun. So it's 105 millimeter, sorry guys. But um, anyway, you can see even shootings clear across the map here, over 400 meters, very accurate gun. You've got 13 degrees of gun, to, um, of gun arc left and right without having to move the tank. Um, which is, is decent. It's not great. Um, but like I said, with some nice frontal armor on this tank, um, you can actually bully in it just a little bit. Um, obviously, you're, the sides and, and the back are the weak spot. You've got 80 mil of armor on the hull, and it is angled quite nicely. So you do get a few good bounces. That tiger was hunting a kill there. Um, and he came out way too far but as you can see we've got two kills now we've got 1700 damage and we've just managed to put ourselves in just the right positions um, is is making a charge here so a couple shots into him trying to keep him tracked in place he repairs it want to make sure that goes in so i didn't aim too close to the track um but you know now i'm sensing that Probably their weak spot here is to the right, and I should uh, flank on around here and um, up the damage a little bit more, so to speak. So we're coming around the building here, going to get a shot into the SU-100. Pull back just enough so he only hits our tracks. We've got a much faster reload. We're going to finish him off. And then swing around, nice. We've got two tanks facing the wrong way. 3,000 damage already. There's our fourth kill. IS is out in the middle. He's trying to get cover, but we've tracked him. He pulls up to cover before we can reload. And um, as we're coming forward, we notice we've got a AFK tank here. 
so we switch over to HE. Miss that shot on the move. Um, but no matter, we're going to finish him off. A couple more HE rounds into him. Now we're up over 4,000 damage. And we still have a couple more to go. We've got the IS here. Can't see him, so we're going to break through those bricks. And we'll get reloaded here just in time to get kill number six. 4,600 damage. Um, so there you go. You know, if, if you get lucky, get a team that can't do any damage. Um, 147,000 credits there. 22 shots landed. Um, and like I said, you know, this is just a really good TD in my opinion. All right, so here is the subscriber replay in the Yog Tiger. Help, I'm a bug is his screen name. And he is bottom tier. And I just thought that this is a great TD in of itself. Um, it was actually the largest tank used in World War II. Um, but... It is a little slow and sluggish, but the gun on it is amazing. 128 millimeter gun, and you've got 250 mil of armor on the front. So that's why I thought this game was quite interesting. Um, it, it's a pretty short game, um, but uh, nonetheless, it, it really highlights the strength of this tank. So look at that, 500 damage on that first shot. Average damage is 460, and for whatever reason, that T-54 is going to come back for a second shot. Um, keeping it just slightly angled there helps out with that armor. 37.16 is your average, um, is your damage per minute in this tank. And, and here comes arguably the, the best armored tank at tier 10, the mouse. And I just want you to see just how easy this is to pen, number one, and how difficult a job this mouse driver has <laughs> with penning this guy. So there's the first bounce. And we've got the tortoise behind him also bouncing. Um, APCR shot, another bounce from the tortoise. Mouse is like, where do I shoot? Uh, nope, that didn't work. Gonna bounce that shot. He's already blocked 2,000 damage and done 3,250 damage himself. Um, so he gets absolutely walloped there by that Death Star as he comes around. But he's gonna get turned back around and get some shots into him. And a little bit of help. And he's gonna be able to finish off this Death Star. But, like I said, you know, to me, this was pretty amazing. Just the amount of damage that can be done in such a short time with this tank. So, like we said there at the intro, I felt like this is just a great line of tank destroyers. There's really not a weak one in the bunch. So, if you're looking for um, a nice, easy grind along an entire line without having to worry about a tank like a tortoise blocking your way... Um, then, then I highly recommend the German TDs there. So with that, guys, hope you're having fun out there. Stay safe. Get educated, not fingered. Little finger out.